This might be the single most important video I ever make on this channel, or at least so far. A few weeks ago, I made a video about six different businesses you can make using AI and ChatGPT. And since then, the number of AIs to come into the spotlight has increased dramatically. You see, I've been adamant that AI is going to be one of the greatest opportunities to come out in our lifetime. And the more and more I learn about it, the more I'm convinced that it's going to be bigger than crypto, NFTs, and the internet itself. To help you understand why I think that, today I'm going to be giving you 20 different AI technologies that I think can help you or your business get to that next level. And with each piece of technology, I'm going to suggest to you a business that you can start or how an existing business could be improved by using it. This one's gonna be a fun one. So sit back, grab a coffee, and let's get into this together. So I'll split this into five different categories. Text, image, video, code and well everything else and i'm going to start with the one that's been impressing me the most and that's video but before i get into it i just want to let you know that every ai i talk about in this video is in the description below just in case you want to check it out for yourself let's go number one on my list comes from a company called flawless ai their true sync technology is a visual dialogue translation model that allows you to alter the outcome of a video to whatever you'd like now we're stuck on this stupid tower in the middle of nowhere Stuck on this stupid freaking tower in the middle of freaking nowhere. Now that's pretty damn impressive. If you're someone who works in that field right now, I would adopt this very quickly. YouTube's biggest creator, Mr. Beast, has been on many podcasts talking about how he has multiple channels in multiple languages. So for all you content creators out there, imagine how you could expand your audience using something like this. I think this is a a piece of technology that's going to revolutionize how we do things. Number two on my list is Maxine by NVIDIA. This is a clever piece of tech that redirects your eye contact back to the camera when you're in meetings. And it uses machine learning AI technology uh, to make it look as if I'm looking straight down the lens and I'm not. You can also translate your output to someone else live in the meeting, which is absolutely incredible. So imagine you're speaking to someone in Spain whose English isn't very good, you can speak in English and their output on their end, they see you as speaking in Spanish. I think this is a great tool for working with people all around the world. This notion that the best talent is in first world countries is just incorrect. People in third world countries have a bit more hunger, they'll probably give you uh, a better service for a much lower price. So imagine speaking to someone in Brazil or Zimbabwe or whatever, and maybe their English isn't great, but using this tech that could adjust that, that, that language barrier there for you so they understand exactly what you want and give you results that are absolutely amazing at a much cheaper price. On top of that, I think it actually opens up your customer base. I think there's a lot of people who might need services all around the world who maybe don't understand the language or you have that language barrier as a, as, as a blocker for you. But I think this kind of technology will open that up so that you know we all essentially all speak one language according to it. It's one internet language that's you know been being translated by this AI. Number three on my list is called Runway ML. This is an AI backed video editor that allows you to do motion tracking, remove backgrounds or remove objects from your video using AI. It also allows you to do a bunch of other things like image to image generation or color grading using just text, which is absolutely incredible. As a video creator myself, I think this is something I'll be trying out definitely. And I think for those who are content creators or agencies that need to make videos for a bunch of things, this could streamline your video editing process and save you a lot of money. Number four on my list is an AI called Synthesia. This is an AI backed video creation tool that allows you to pick a host or a presenter and you can type in your script directly into the AI and it will read it out for you word for word in a, a natural human-like way. Text to video is the process of converting information from a text format into a video format, usually done with AI. I think this is very useful in a corporate sense if you're someone who makes videos or presentations on a regular basis to different companies all around the world. I think this is something that you can really use to your advantage. And for my entrepreneurs and business owners, I think this is something you can really use to become the number one uh, information giver in your space. So here's an example. Imagine you're a baker, you love baking cakes, and you you know want to get that business up and running. A good thing you can do is create tutorials on YouTube using this on how to do different cakes and how to make them, blah, 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 blah. And you can become that supplier that people go to to get the ingredients for these cakes. Believe me, it might sound simple, but that's a business model that could really kick off. Okay, number five on my list is called Rephrase AI. 
It's quite similar to Synthesia, but it's more tailored towards marketing and outreach. You can use this AI to send out personalized outreach to a bunch of clients and they won't even know that it's been tailored towards them. Hi Ashray, do you want to create videos with Rephrase? Hi Shivam, do you want to create videos with Rephrase? Hi Nasheed, do you want to create videos with Rephrase? After creating your video using Rephrase, you can send it out on WhatsApp or email to all your clients and I'm pretty sure this will turn a lead into a solid, solid customer for you. I think this is a no-brainer to you marketing companies, my SMMA guys, this is something you can use to help you with outreach, whether you get clients for yourself or get clients for your clients, it's a no-brainer. And I think if you're a business owner and you don't want to pay the, you know, the thousands of, of, of pounds or, or dollars uh, a month that agencies might charge you, this is something that you could use to get clients for yourself. Great, great tool. So my next section is around text and text generation. And going into number six, it's called Colgram. Colgram takes automatic notes for you in virtual meetings and puts action items as a list down for you using AI. You can get a full transcript or a summary of the meeting sent to you. And this is something that's really useful in normal life, whether that's team meetings or client meetings. I think it's a perfect tool for all of that. If you want to make some money from this, people will hire virtual assistants to do stuff like this all of the time. Why don't you plug in this AI, get them to summarize meetings and stuff like that for you. And if you get a list of a bunch of clients and charge them monthly per meeting, whatever, you can easily stack up the cash and get yourself a business that you didn't even know you could start. Number seven is Jasper AI. This is quite popular, you might have seen it out there, but if you haven't, this is an all-in-one marketing tool. It's an AI-driven copywriter that gives you a crazy amount of copy with just simple prompts using templates. So they have templates for a bunch of things, LinkedIn, email, that kind of thing. So you give it an idea of what you would like and it kind of generates a bunch of content around that topic for you and you can pick and choose which one you want to use or don't want to use. Where I think you can leverage this is that most marketing companies have maybe one, two, and max three uh, platforms that they really market well on and they focus on those and become good at those. Imagine being the marketing company that says, listen, I can write you a uh, beautiful copy, create amazing ads for any platform that you can think of. And you can plug it into the AI and it helps you do 95, 97, 98% of the job. I think this is absolutely a world beater. Okay, number eight on my list is called Postwise. Now this is a marketing tool, but tailored more towards Twitter. It can write a single post and threads and post them on Twitter for you. You can automate messages and automate replies from uh, people who comment on the posts. This is a powerful tool if you really want to utilize Twitter to grow your personal uh, profile or a business of yours. If you've been on Twitter lately, you've realized that a lot of people are creating personal brands uh, built on writing a bunch of threads to provide value to their followers. And this is something that if you're a content creator, you could really utilize. Or even if, you, even if you're a business and you want to become the expert in that field, this is something that you could really use and, you know, help build that audience, build that trust, you know, become a, a, a leading voice in your category. Number nine is called Galactica. This one's more for my researchers, my academic type of people. It's more than 360 million citations stored in this database and it trolls through all of them to find you the best citations or books and papers based on your subject matter. It can also translate complex maths or code into simple English to help you understand. If this is something that you're into or this is your field of work, I think this is a no brainer. Even if you're, you know, doing personal research to get your knowledge to the next level, this might be a good place to, you know, find books that you didn't even know existed in, in your, uh, your field of study. On the business end, you can create a company that charges researchers or students to find a bunch of citations and books uh, around their subject matter. And all you do is use the AI. They wouldn't have to know. They don't need to know. The next area we're going to look into is images. And why not kick it off with one of the most popular AIs in the space? And that's Midjourney. Midjourney is a text to image generation AI tool that can be used with Discord. It creates incredible art based on your prompts. And it can be used for profile pictures, logos, even websites. We use it for a bunch of different things. I actually recently used this to create a logo for a company I'm working on and it's absolutely incredible. I think all those boutique design companies that make logos and stuff like that for a living are under fire and I think this is something that you could use to really undermine them, charge you know a, a more competitive price to the uh, the client, the customer and give them a great product for, for much less. Number 11 is DAO E2 by OpenAI. 
This is, comes from the company that made ChatGPT, so this might be really popular. And I think this is a, an amazing tool, it's really powerful. It's quite similar to Midjourney, but not on Discord, it's just on its own. Similar to before, those companies that are charging for logos, picture alterations, and that kind of thing are under fire here. I think it's somewhere where you can use AI to step in and take a large chunk of that business and make it yourself. Even NFTs, a lot of people are making NFTs, uh, you know, a year or two ago, and it will be back at some point. I think this is a great way to really generate a bunch of high quality images that you might be able to sell. Now there's a lot of other image generation tools and AIs out there like Stable Diffusion or Night Cafe, but they all kind of do the similar thing. So I didn't want to exhaust the list with image based um, AIs. So I'll leave it there and then move on to the next section. And that is coding. So we'll kick it off with number 12, which is GitHub Copilot. It uses OpenAI Codex to write functions and finish off code for you real time in your editor. This is something that's very, very powerful. And I think if you're someone who doesn't know how to code or maybe does know how to code and wants to, you know, charge people for large scale projects, or if you don't know how to code, you've always had an idea and you really want to bring it to life. It's something that can really take you, help you get that idea onto, not a piece of paper, but onto a, a computer and really bring that to life. Number 13 is called tab nine and it's quite similar to GitHub Copilot, but it works as an extension for your favorite IDs. So your development environments. It also does the same thing. You can write what you're trying to achieve in comments and it will uh, write a block of code or uh, a function for you. I mean, this is also somewhere where you can, you know, charge people to uh, review their code or adjust their code for them and really plug into the AI. It might fix if you have the eye for it already, you might be able to adjust a couple of things and, you know, you can charge people a lot of money for, for fixing uh, whatever issues that they're having right now. Number 14 is for my game developers and maybe the NFT guys too and it's called scenario.gg. This is a pretty useful tool that uses AI to generate game assets for you. So vehicles, characters, locations can be generated or uh, using uh, a couple of simple different uh, inputs and makes all of those for you, you know, in a few seconds. I know a few friends who work in this space and I know this can be a tedious task. So having something that can do it for you like that, it could be very, very helpful. I've also seen a lot of people in the Web3 NFT space start building games and back them with coins or NFTs. And I think this is a really good tool to kind of help you uh, come along that journey too. My final category covers everything else that doesn't really fit in all of those other ones. And we'll kick off with number 15, which is Metaphor. Metaphor is an AI powered search engine that refines search results for you to give you a pinpoint answer. It's going to challenge Google. I mean, the possibilities of this thing are endless. It's basically Google on steroids. And I think we've all been looking for a way to really, really refine the Google searches. So something like this might really come and challenge that that search engine space and could really be useful for you number 16 is music lm it's a piece of tech from google that generates music from text you can make short or long form music based on a bunch of different things uh, genres tones even use images to um to describe the kind of feel that you want from music, which is quite incredible. Copyright is a pain for creators and companies. So why not become the person who has a music library that's, you know, charged less than normal, or you put it for free and you have ads on your website and you generate money that way. I think this is a really, really useful tool. Okay, number 17 is called Do Not Pay, and it's marketed as the world's first robot lawyer. It covers a lot of aspects of law from uh, fighting parking tickets to uh, canceling free trials for you to more serious cases. And this is something that's actually quite useful it's pretty incredible just going on the website this is very useful if you already work in the field but if you don't maybe you could be the one to break that mold lawyers are notoriously known for charging high fees even for simple things so why not be the one company or business that brings that that lawyer um, expertise for a cheap cheap price a very competitive price and you can make a lot of money doing that. Okay, number 18 is called Clickable and it's an all-in-one ad creation AI. It aims to replace designers and copywriters and puts that all into one. So literally a few prompts and you can have your ad, copy, a tagline, or combined and looking good, really, really good um, in a matter of seconds. I think this is a no brainer from an SMMA or marketing crowd, you know how you're gonna use it. This could also be very useful for dropshippers. Imagine generating ads in a matter of seconds for as many products that you wanna test out. 
I think this is a very, very useful tool. Okay, number 19 is called Super Creator AI, and it's an app that lets you create short form content very, very quickly. You can upload your videos into the app, and you can pick a style, font, and color for your video, and it will generate you a good short form content style uh, video ready for you to upload onto TikTok, Instagram, uh, YouTube Shorts, that kind of thing. I know as a content creator that it takes a long time to create and curate um, videos that are long form into short form for these platforms. And there's a lot of uh, big, big time influencers that pay people a lot of money to cut down their long videos or um, podcasts into short form videos. So this is a, an avenue where you can make a lot of money. And trust me, this might have gone under the radar, but people make a lot of money doing this. And last but not least, number 20 on my list is called Browse AI. Now I've left this one till the end because for you guys who have powered through the video, this this might be the best one yet. This is a gem and I think you're going to enjoy it. Browse AI allows you to monitor and scrape any information from any website in the world. Here's some ways that I think you can really utilize this. You can monitor a stock or a crypto or a trader and follow their trades and whatever they make a trade, you make a trade, could make a lot of money. How about creating an app that lists the creators, properties in your area that are being listed and they can go directly to uh, real estate agents and you can charge them for that. For my flippers and dropshippers out there, how about monitoring Amazon searches so you know when uh, you know a new trend is coming up, what people are searching for a lot and it's coming up and up and up and up and you can be one of the first people to dropship that product before anyone else gets to it. I think the value from this piece of tech is absolutely incredible and I think this might be the best one yet. Okay and that's it, that's 20 different tools that you could use for businesses or to get you to that next level. I hope you enjoyed it anyway, I know it was a long one today. But let me know what you think. Do you like this longer form videos? Do you like shorter ones? Let me know which AIs you would or wouldn't use in the comments below as well. I appreciate you and I'll see you next time. Stay safe, my friends.